Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Shedder here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Dreaming Sarah. Now the game was developed by Asteristic Game Studio, published by Rattalika Games and is available to you for just £4 slash dollars 99. So the premise of the story is we play as Sarah who is in a coma after an accident and we basically explore her, well, sort of coma head dreams, let's call it. Um, but there are, there's a lot to explore, plenty to explore, but also without the guide, there are many opportunities to get lost as hell, as this game can get confusing, and you will see why. So for the majority of the achievements, you basically just have to get a lot of collectibles, which, as I said, with many various paths to take, this can get confusing, but following this guide, you can get this game done in around 30 to 40 minutes. So, with all that being said then, let us begin. And as we start off here, this is basically the little intro bit, and what you're going to need to do is press A to wake Sarah up. Come on, get up! Anyway, we're going to head to the left, past the lamppost, and yeah, so this is basically a cute little platformer uh, which you can't really die. Jump up here and then press the X button once on this like purple dildo lever looking thing. Head left and then keep heading left. Jump into the water. Don't drown. Jason Voorhees. Uh, but you will see this umbrella. This is, These are what the collectibles look like. So we'll grab one and every collectible we grab has an achievement tied to it. So we find the umbrella. And then what you can do then is press the B button, and then obviously press up, that'll get the umbrella. Press the A button twice, and that'll glide us down, we'll do like a little glide. Which, there's nothing wrong with that at all. So, keep heading left, we're going to just jump up to the elevator, so press the X button to interact with things. So that's what the um, main premise of this is. So to use the items, it's usually the A button to interact with environmental objects, it's usually the X button. So have a bit of um, Mary Poppins style flying in the umbrella if you want, then press the X button to get out. So for now we're going to head to the right, and we are going to find a little hat now. Creepy ass eyeball staring at you there, that's not pervalicious at all, apparently. Anyway, so when we grab this hat, that should be your second achievement already, and then what we can do is actually just quit back to the main menu. So quit, really quit. Yeah, I only wanted two achievements, so up yours. Just joking, of course. Press continue, and then we need to press the A button again when we get to this bit again. So we're going to wake her up again, but obviously with that, we've actually kept the items that we've just had. So this time we can head to the right. And we're going to be giving the hat to a little boy. So jump up all all on these sort of bits of uh, platforming sections here. Again, the platforming is very easy. Um, there's not a lot, not a lot that can go wrong if you do die, you can jump in the water. If you do end up dying, you literally just start back at the same point so that you, can, you can't really go wrong. So you're gonna have to jump up here, make sure that the um, umbrella is highlighted, jump up the top and then jump all the way to the right. Uh, no matters if you fall down, you can just climb back up. Head all the way to the right, press this orange looking dildo thing twice, X button twice, so it's at a at level, and then speak to this guy. Thank you, random stranger, for the bag of seeds. Now in real life that will probably contain, I don't know, some weird ass pills or something. But interact with this pot here, jump up twice so you use your umbrella and then head to the right. Yeah, never accept a bag of seeds off a stranger, just can't go right. So we're going to jump down, give the boy, uh, talk to the boy, we're going to give him his hat. He looks like he's about to start his new Pokemon adventure, so we can just leave him to it. And then some portal, weird portal appears. So, cr press the X button to interact with that and then head to the right when we're in the deserty part of life. Just keep heading right for the moment. And then there we go. So we now have the compass, which always comes in handy when you're lost in a desert. I assume. That's what I've seen on TV and stuff. So now obviously press the B button, highlight the compass, which is down. It's telling us to go left. So that is exactly where we're going to go. 
just listen to it and you will be fine. So we need to interact with this well, obviously it's the X button again, and then we're going to end up in, well, Molten Lava territory now, so of course you can die obviously, if you go in the lava, press the X button when you're at this little portal hole, and then keep heading to the right for the time being, jump up, ignore this, right there, and obviously make sure to avoid the spikes, that's pretty obvious, but you can sort of let go of the A button, just make sure to hold it, head to the right just a little bit here, and then you should be fine to just jump all the way down then. It's very easy enough to avoid. Right, this bit is a section where the lava's gonna start rising up, so obviously we need to be quick here. So, just gun it, run for it, jump up, up the ladder, to the left. Obviously, uh, make sure not to fall off the platforms here, because once again, that always results in death. Head to the left, up the ladder again. And then we need to head up this ladder, instead of going right. Up, up, up! Come on, one more rep! And then just head through the hole. <laughs> head inside the hole. <laughs> that does mean two things. <laughs> so anyway, just keep heading up. Now we, we've gotten past that little section. Head inside the black, dark, moist hole. And then press the lever here once. And then jump back down. Once again, of course, being careful. Go into the right a little bit here. And then you should be fine to just jump down. And this time we're just going to head to the left, so wait for the platforms. Again, don't die, just makes this, makes your life about three seconds easier if you just don't die. I'm going to climb up the ladder, once go to the right, climb up the ladder again, and then we're going to head into the darkness of the smelly hole, and this is where you find the magnifying glass. Once again, we should have an achievement. Very, very, I mean, achievement unlocked magnifying glass. That, that must have taken a while to come up with, to be fair. Uh, so we can jump down now, just jump straight down and head through this hole. Oh, you're doing a lot of hole diving today, so far. Uh, we can just jump down, we're going to head back down the ladder. So basically sort of going back where we came from. And then up, and then what we can do, press the B button to get your inventory up, use the magnifying glass, and then we can get inside of small holes, which, well, I'll tell you what... I can make so many jokes about that right now, but I'm going to leave it. So now we can just jump where we've got the pay bucket and the achievement. Click the magnifying glass again to re bigulate yourself. Head through the hole, and then we can head back down. Sorry for the commentary's going a bit fast, guys. This is just one of those that you just sort of fl fly through. This time we're going to head to the right, but we are going to be doing a lot of uh, running away from this molten lava this time. So it is just a case of keep on running, doing the exact same path as we did last time. So jump down, up, left, up. This time we are going to follow the arrows though and keep going right. So jump up, jump up, jump up as quick as you can there and then head up. And once again we're going to head up the ladder and we're going to stick our head inside another moist hole. <laughs> Interact with this weird looking portal thing and it's going to transform us here. So we're going to head to the left. I'm going to come up to this like creepy ass mansion now, which is always handy. Head through the gates. And then we're going to interact with the, uh, this first door right here. So, go to the left now. The glass is at the top of what we need. Head through this next door. And then go to the left once again. Climb, uh, go through the door again, sorry. Almost got that one wrong. Go right. We're going to climb up this ladder though. And then go through this door. And then what we're going to do is actually just jump down to the left and go through the next door. <laughs> a lot of door going through in again. This time we can go to the right and just keep going down this ladder here until we get to this empty blackness of door. So don't worry, no monsters or anything are going to gonna, 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 gonna get you. But we are just going to keep running to the left for now. But I tell you what, if you were high, just seeing all this right now just might mess with your eyesight. That's the only thing we've got an issue with. <laughs> yeah, with the lights and the darkness. But keep on running, keep on running, keep on running, 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 round up. And keep on running. And eventually we will get to the glasses, unlocking the achievement. There it is. Lovely. 
So we're just going to head all the way back to the right now. <laughs> You've got to be doing lots of running. Only this time then we're going to end up underneath. So we're going to go to, through the second door. Which is this big black looking hole right here. So make sure to enter that. And now we are actually going to put on the glasses as it will reveal a hidden path. So you're going to grab that star. We need to grab a total of six, I believe. So B button, make sure to put the glasses on. That will turn on the lights and reveal a hidden path for us. Then you get your second star right there. Uh, just keep going. Make sure then that your umbrella is already equipped as well. You'll get your third one here. So make sure that your umbrella's equipped. Obviously it should be highlighted. And then what we need to do is jump down here and then jump all the way to the left hand side. If you don't have your umbrella equipped, you'll just have to climb up the ladder and do that part again. So make sure to grab all three stars here on each ledge, or two stars on each ledge, sorry. And then just continue running to the left. Man, this Sarah chick is fit. Another star. Fitter than me. I just... I get knackered after walking up the stairs. Shabby git. Jump all the way down, and this time we're going to use the magnifying glass. Go squeeze yourself inside that small green looking hole. And then we are going to get this uh, star. But what we're going to do is actually keep going to the right. Ignore the green blob there. What the hell is that? I don't know. But this is a secret, and that is an achievement unlocked as well. Secret number three. So... Just make sure when you grab that star, go all the way to the right, to the end, and get the achievement before we move on. So we've got one or two left, I believe, now. So now, once again, you can re yourself. That's not a word. It's a Professor Frink word from The Simpsons, but that's all good. Uh, you can actually just leave the glasses on. I don't know why I took them off. Um, if you want a little bit of lighting. And there then is the final star, which will unlock another achievement and get us the collectible heart key. A heart-shaped key. So basically what we need to do now is just basically jump back down and we're just going to head uh, well, back out of this area. Now there's nothing for us to do, so we need to keep going all the way up to the right and then up the long ladder, then all the way to the left. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory, I suppose. So we're going to head all the way to the left, back out of here. Make sure to put your glasses back on if you get to this point. Point. <laughs> point, point. Just so you can reveal the hidden path and head out the exit again. So head to the right. And what we're going to do is basically talk to this... I don't know, I, I don't know if he's like a ghost waiter or he looks like something off uh, the film Scream. I don't know, but he's got something wrong with his eyes and his mouth anyway. Maybe he had too much weenus in there. <laughs> anyway. No, we're just going to carry on then. When you speak to him, we're going to carry on. Now, they may look like you can't jump on those floating bookcases, but you can. But this is what happens when you die. You just um, uh, enter the same point anyway. So if you do die at some point, it really does not matter. But you can just jump on these floating bookcases and go through this weird portal-looking door. Now this is one of those, uh, what is called an endless loop section. So if you do miss your target, we're going to go on the ginger woman's desk here and start floating to the right. And sort of keep dropping down. It's, it's sort of tricky to know where you are, but when you see the sort of first, pa uh, the first, I don't know, ledge with like a bookcase on it, it may take a while, it may take sort of 20 to 30 seconds, but we need to be jumping on there. But like I said, even if you do end up missing it, this is like an endless loop section, so you can get yourself back onto the uh, ginger receptionist's desk anyway. So as you can see there, I missed it, but what you can do is just, where it was, you can just then um, leave yourself go. When you're on that bookcase, head to the left, sort of keep just dropping down, and you should be able to see, there we go, so this is the ID card, so this is what we need. Again, if you do end up missing that, you can just sort of put yourself underneath it, drop yourself down, and you will eventually just land on here anyway. So from here, what we need to do is just jump down to the left, keep going slightly, slightly left. We're going to see another bookcase, jump down to the left again, and the portal door there should be underneath, so... 
<sighs> yeah, it may be a little bit annoying that section, but when you know what you're doing, it's fairly easy. So we're just going to keep on heading to the right anyway, for the time being, go through these double doors until we get outside. Now we are done for this part of the story. Now I keep on heading through this little hole in the wall right here. And keep going to the right. Right said Fred. Dead. Go through the door now that we've got the love heart shaped key. Now we're going to end up back in the creepy forest. So we're going to interact with the uh, plant pot. Jump up with the umbrella and head to the right. Jump yourself down there, old sazzy beanie. And go through the portal. Make sure that you've got your glasses on for this point. We're going to head to the right. And as long as you've got your glasses on, you will unlock the fourth secret, or what's called secret four, and that's for discovering the ancient ghost aliens, or whatever the hell they look like. But you've got to make sure you're wearing your glasses there to unlock that achievement. So when you've done that, keep heading to the left. We're going to go past the well this time. So obviously you don't need to go there. We've done that part. And just head all the way to the left until we've reached this portal. Now we're going to head through it. Again, the X button, obviously. And now we can go to the right when we're back in the creepy-ass playground thing. Jump down, keep going to the right, and then we're going to head up through the elevator. Uh, interact with the switch, of course, so you can see how this game can get goddamn bloody confusing. Still a great game, honestly, a fantastic platformer. Really enjoyed it, but Jesus Christ, didn't you get lost your first time through without a guide? Right, we're going to the right this time, and I I think we're going to be unlocking another secret achievement, and that is for the pervilicious big eyeball here. So, get your magnifying glass out, go small, and um, basically the perv is going to make his eyes go small. I mean, that is, that is like, anyway, we can quit. Let's quit out. When you get the achievement, then magnify your glass, magnify yourself, get small, then we can quit out when the achievement unlocks. Perfect! And then when we continue once again, yes, that is definitely police worthy, that one, isn't it? Arrest this man, up there. We're going to go to the left anyway when we wake up again. Or arrest this eyeball, officer. And we're just going to head to the left again. We're going to talk to this girl with the juice stand. And basically, uh, free orange juice, I'll take that all day long, even if it does taste like um, cider, which tastes like absolute piss, by the way. Like literal urine. Yeah. Anyway, so we've got that achievement now. Interact with this purple dildo thing once. Gotta stop calling it a dildo, but that's fine. Then head to the right. You gotta make sure to inter... Make sure to have interacted with that purple thing once. Now we're going to interact with this stone right here again. Press the X button. Oh, well, thank you, Spawn of Uzi. Much appreciated, my friend. And then we come to this weird-ass section, and we have found a pill. Oh, here we go. Now, all we need is some bumping music, and we are going to get ourselves pilled up. So to get back to the start, interact with the pill, which is on the left-hand side when you open up your inventory. And, well, that is what pills do to you. They give you a hell of a good time, and you end up not knowing where you're going. Or where you are. So we're just going to keep heading to the right anyway. Doesn't matter if you uh, jump in the water at this point. You're peeled off your head, so really, you can't feel a thing. Um, <laughs> I assume. I'm saying I'm a good boy. Uh, you can try with the umbrella if you want there, but just jump, keep on going to the right for the time being. And then when we jump down, we're going to interact, interact, interact with Red Dildos. And that do that twice so it's sort of level. And then what we're going to do is actually jump back to the left, only this time we are going to head down this time. So just keep jumping down all the way to the left, nothing can hurt you, which is great for you, and head through this door, doorway or whatever. <laughs> this time we're going to head right, interact with the TV here. And this is another one of those sort of infinite loop sections, although it's a little bit easier than the first one. So we're just going to keep going right for the, for the time being. Jump up. And then sort of in the middle of this platform here, you can sort of just jump yourself down a little bit. Obviously, keep being careful until you see these three platforms and then you see this doll underneath. We need to be grabbing this weird-ass alive ghost doll. 
Obviously, we need it to progress the story. It also unlocks us another achievement. Blockhead. That's so funny. Anyway, head to the right and sort of start jumping down. We're going to need to find this yellow rocket ship. So you should have done that from the right. Now, there is an achievement, another secret missable achievement on this um, moon. And what we need to do is actually go through this door, but don't go through it yet. Basically, we need to find, like, uh, I think it's a moon rabbit. So just keep running around all the way around until you interact and see with the moon rabbit. For me, it's literally just where I came out of the spaceship. There it is. So you can probably just about see its fluffy, disgusting moon ears. But make sure you get that secret, se uh, that second secret before you head down and through this door. So we're going to head to the left this time and we're going to speak to the barman now. And sit down if you want, but it makes absolutely no difference <laughs> whatsoever. So speak to the Star Wars looking barman. And then basically we're going to be, <laughs> we're off our tits now basically, that's, that's the thing. That pill and that vodka is a strong lethal combination. So you just need to go to the right a little bit until we sort of, uh, we get mashed up. Mashed up. Anyway, this bit, this section takes around a minute or so. Just keep going to the right and enjoy the scenery. I'm wondering what the hell are these pills and vodka doing to you, boy? Girl. Everything. Lol, literally just ran past ourselves there. What kind of world are we living in? So, we are now coming up to what looks like lipstick and genuinely look, what looks like kind of a dog's penis, but it, it's supposed to resemble a bullet. <laughs> okay, so that's what it does. So, we've got the bullet, and now what we can do, keep heading to the right for the minute. And when you see this random stone pillar we're going to interact with that to end up back in the creepy old forest make sure to pill yourself up nice and lovely once again i'll tell you what she's doing well with these uh e-pills isn't she hmm? but we're gonna head to the right when we wake up again basically what we need to do now is go back to that same bar we were at so we need to go through that sort of red infinite loop section again which is not as bad as it sounds honestly Like I said, obviously it's a case of just jumping down here, going through the portal, and then going through the TV. Man, what a coma this is. I'd love to be in a coma like this. Although, then again, you'd be in a coma, so... It's kind of a win-lose, lose-lose situation there, isn't it? This time, when we're at the TV, we're going to jump down to the left and sort of start heading to the right. Rather than go through the right, because it's going to be somewhere... Somewhere... Somewhere over a rainbow, we're in a coma. I know, I know, it's a goddamn beautiful voice. <laughs> anyway, so you should just land on this little platform right here with what looks like an eye. What we need to do is jump off the right side of the platform, but immediately go left just a little bit. And then that is eventually where we should now find the rocket ship. So, you got your second opportunity if you didn't collect these... Secret 2 achievement for finding the moon bunny. Make sure to grab this one now. Otherwise, we can just head down here to the right. Give the pee, <laughs> Give the penis... <laughs> the penis. Give her the dog's penis bullet. And then we can pill ourselves up nice and lovely to get out of this wonder world. <laughs> dog's penis. Penis. There's just... Hmm, a lot of wang jokes going on today. I don't know if I like it anymore. Sorry. <laughs> Right, so head to the left again. We're not too far from the end of the game, actually, to be fair now. Interact with this grandfather clock looking thing, and we're coming up to yet another um, infinite loop. So we're going to head down left, down again, just keep heading down. And then at this point, this is where the infinite loop is going to start. So we're going to go to the right when we start gliding down, and you're going to see like a, a bunch of circles. As soon as you see those bunch of circles, then you should have let go, and then you should 
have gone down that little um, hole right there. But it doesn't matter if you've done it. Basically, what you can just do, head down, make sure to get your umbrella, go to the left, and then when you're underneath the bunch of orange circles, then you can just let go. So really is no harm, no foul if you end up missing it. But you'll end up in this little area as well when we get through it. Jump down, don't drown. Ah, pick up this necklace. This actually turns us into a fish now. And I really, really want... Well, whoever wrote this game, I really want whatever they were taking, because that was awesome. But anyway, we are going to interact with the shell necklace, turn ourselves into a fish, and really there is only one path we can go, except I just took the wrong path there. <laughs> but no, there is literally sort of only one path that we can go, so it should hopefully be easy to follow along. Again, none of these bombs or anything can kill us, so just enjoy being a fish for now. And if it was Kanye West and South Park style, he would be a gay fish, gay fish. I hope everyone just got that reference. Right, we're at the end. Interact with this toilet bowl. And obviously, what you need to do is interact with the shell necklace again to turn yourself back human. What a coma. What a goddamn coma. So now what we need to do is talk to every person here. Hey, screw you, Bjarsh So talk to the blue girl, the pink girl, and there's going to be a man thing on the right. Looks like a cowboy. So they only say like one thing, but that's fine. So we're going to head through the yellow door now. Go to the right and talk to this bum-chinned legendary head. Kind of just looks like a really crappier version of Johnny Bravo or something. Nah, nah, I don't know. Anyway, head to the left, talk to the bouncer here. Ah, oh, wait, it's the guy who was on the bench earlier. Well, I remember now. And then talk to this weird, creepy girl who looks like she belongs in Little Nightmares or something. So, talk to her. And then we need to talk to the bouncer again. Our friend, one, the one with the big red pastry nose. Little, little nightmares girl's gonna go in, and then we should be good to go. So now we can actually head in through the door. Good job. Head to the left. It's gonna be a little dark, but it's what gets us the bus pass. All of a sudden, we've turned into a 65-year-old. <laughs> Somehow. Anyway, what we can do now is just pill ourselves up nice and lovely, which is right in the bathroom, right? Yeah, this is where people usually do take their uh, things on a night out. I'm watching. Anyway, we end up back at the start. We're going back to the left this time. And this time we're going to interact with the grandfather clock type thing again. So it's the same sort of thing. Um, we're just going to go down to the left. Just keep jumping down. And go down to the left and go to the left. Only this time what we're going to do is jump down. And then we're going to slowly just keep on going to the right. But we're going to jump before the orange circles. So just before the clump of orange circles, jump down and you should have landed around here uh, with the tooth kind of looking door. Again, no worries if you didn't, you can always just go back to it as, as it is an endless loop. So now we've got, we just poisoned what, I mean, we're in teeth. We're in teeth and we've just killed a blood clot with, clot with juice or something. Righto, mate, righto. Anyway, now we're into a doctor's surgery sort of waiting room so head to the left we're going to talk to the receptionist first and we are literally about a minute or two away from the end of the game believe it or not and um, we need to talk to this toothy blood-headed receptionist three times so make sure to do it three times until she says something like can you go find him i can't actually move can't actually do anything because i've got blood pouring out of my head and i am a tooth which makes sense which makes sense why she can't see him so we're just going to head to the right until we hit a vending machine. So here's the vending machine and here is the doctor. Yes, he is a blue duck. Now your coma seems to be getting worse. Or is that a sign that your coma is getting better when you get weirder dreams? I don't know, anybody in a coma can elaborate on this? <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, thank you. So you've spoken to blue duck doctor, so we're going to go all the way to the left again. We're basically going to end up in his office now. 
so past these bits of toilet. And the office is next to Toothy Bloodhead Receptionist. So go to the right, and then we're going to speak to the Blue Duck Doctor again. Kind of looks like he should be on the front of a toilet cleaning solution or something. But again, that's fine. He is going to give us a watch after all, so we can't be too harsh on the guy. We did get him out of a vending machine. <laughs> Although that is exactly what I'd be doing if I was a duck, I can tell you. Right, so we are basically finished with this bit now. Now we can head into the toilet here, the open door. Don't go into the mail. You're a female. You must not look at Wang when you're female. Don't run straight into the spikes. What you need to do is interact with the watch. And it slows time down perfectly, enabling us to get through the traps. This may seem very tricky, but it's not. As soon as the first one goes up, it's easy enough to sort of just uh, keep going your way through. Another set of traps down here as well. Make sure the first trap is all the way up. Then you can just be on your merry, merry way. And then head through the door. And just keep going to the right. We are now basically, this is it. This is basically the end. Just what we need to do is speak to this old woman right here. This is exactly what I want. I don't particularly want to die. I'd rather get out of death. Head to the right. Interact with this broken bit of wall. And then that is that then, boys and gals. So what you can have is a couple of minutes um, for this bit and for the credits to roll. Um, before the final achievement unlocks. So it'll be about three or four minutes. Until you get to this point of the screen. And then that should be that. So, well... <laughs> what did you think of that then, guys? I thought that was pretty entertaining. Very, very interesting. But thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope the guide helped as well as you enjoying the game. And we had a good couple of laughs, as we always do, because I love it. Um, don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend if you did find this helpful. Don't forget to check me out on all my socials as well. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon. Would love it if you checked those out. Big shout out to... Uh, TimG84 and all my other Patreon supporters for, well, supporting me on the show and on the channel. And I shall see you in the next one anyway. <laughs> Big love there, guys and gals. Big love. <laughs>